Krakow is the most visited city by tourists here in Poland. If you're trying to plan your trip but don't know where to start, this video is for you. Before you get started, there are a few things that you need to know for your trip, starting with when to come. If you come during the summer, it's going to be a lot more crowded, a little more expensive, but you're going to have a ton of sunlight. In the peak of summer, the sun sets at almost 11 p.m. However, the heat can get pretty bad for some people, and a lot of Airbnbs don't have air conditioning. The hotels do, but a lot of the hostels and Stuff like that don't so when it's really really hot it's gonna be very difficult to sleep it was really hot this year in Poland for some reason so for like three to four months straight it was just unbearably hot on the other hand if you come during the winter you can experience the Christmas market but the days are a lot shorter you'll have Sun for maybe around 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. things are also gonna be a lot cheaper unless you come around Christmas during the Christmas market it's just a completely different vibe so it depends on what kind of weather you like but if you come like in the heart of summer or in the heart of winter you don't have to pack for multiple weathers because the weather is quite consistent however if you come during the transition seasons so like spring or fall particularly in the months like March and September weather can change from day to day so today it could be maybe 26 degrees but then tomorrow it could be 18 degrees however in the transition months there are gonna be less people it's gonna be easier to book things I highly recommend booking your tickets as advanced as possible another issue with coming during the winter is that Poland has a big issue with air pollution during this time I personally thought Southeast Asia was a lot worse than here. Pollution in Krakow specifically is some of the worst in the world. Credit cards are also accepted pretty much everywhere here so you don't really have to exchange money. It is nice to have a little bit just in case. Also Polish people can come off quite rude to foreigners if you're not used to it so it's not you that's just kind of how they are. When it comes to transport Uber and Bolt both work here extremely well however if you're trying to get into the old town traffic can get a little complicated public transportation is a lot more recommended thankfully Krakow has a very good public transportation you can buy your ticket at the tram stops or inside of the trams sometimes they do accept car but a lot of times they don't work so you'll have to use coins it's very complicated so I recommend downloading this app called Jaco Jape which allows you to buy all your tickets online but you can also use that to buy train tickets in between cities control here does not mess around with you buying your tickets even though the fine is only around $40 and you can never use the tourist excuse they'll charge you either way and you can also use the app to map your route to wherever you want to go Google Maps is quite accurate but when it comes to the trams and when they're supposed to arrive this Polish app is actually the most accurate one there's also a ton of electric scooters all around the city with bolts or tier or even some lime scooters that you can do with uber it's a lot more cost efficient and because most of Krakow is flat it's easy to use the scooters everywhere I don't recommend using an electronic scooter to get into Old Town because if you look on the map of your Bolt app there are specific areas of the city where you can't park your scooter you have to park them in a mandatory parking area or else you'll get fined a lot of the parking spaces around the Old Town are usually filled I only really recommend using scooters for outside of the Old Town area so if you're coming from Old Town to your hotel outside of the area or if you're going from place to place outside of the Old Town area there are a lot more places to park your scooter I also highly recommend recommend renting a bike. Krakow is very bike friendly and a lot of the roads also have bike lanes. Many of the restaurants in Old Town are quite expensive and catered towards tourists. If you want something a little bit cheaper, you can go to the restaurants in the malls or outside of Old Town or if you go to Kashmir's, which is the Jewish quarter, there are also a lot of restaurants there that are a little more affordable than the ones in Old Town. Also keep in mind that everything here is closed on Sundays. This is really annoying. Jabka and restaurants are open, but supermarkets, the malls, and pretty much everything else is going to be closed. So if you need to buy something or if you want to buy some groceries, make sure to do that every other day except Sunday. You don't have to speak Polish because Polish is a very difficult language, but I recommend learning these two words, Czech, which means hello, Dziękuję, which means thank you. And if you want to say excuse me, the real word is Szepraszam, which is a little difficult. The easier word is to say Uwaga, which means attention or warning. And here is a very important tip. Many of the museums in Krakow have free days where you can get in with free admission. So depending on when you come to visit, I'll put the list right here of the museums that are free so you can save a little bit of money. You're probably going to be using public transportation a lot and you don't want the Polish people to think that you 
are French. That's why I'm excited to share with you guys today's sponsor, Supply Matter. Supply Matter is a unique wax-based fragrance. You can use them as a perfume. You can easily layer it with any of the other smells that you already have. I've already gotten a ton of compliments for using these scents. And because they're so portable, you can easily put them in your pocket so you can top yourself off any time during the day. So if you guys want to check them out, make sure to use code WESLEY at checkout to get 20% off your first order. So where should you stay? Most people are going to be staying around the Old Town area, and that's a very good option. The hotels there are a little bit on the pricier side, but it has the best location. I personally would recommend staying a little bit outside of the city. I recommend the AC Hotel and the Hyatt Hotel, which are a little bit outside of the Old Town, but it's only a five minute walk away from the tram stop. We're a little bit closer to nature and parks, so it's a little more quiet. And because it's outside of the main area, it's a little cheaper. Most of the people that stay at hostels are gonna be around the Old Town area as well. So keep in mind that uh, any of these days are interchangeable. This is just how I would plan the trip. So I would recommend doing Auschwitz on the first day. It's about an hour and 15 minutes outside of the city. The best way to get there is by bus. One way, it costs 20 zwati, which is about $5, and these buses go all day. Don't forget to book your tickets in advance. You can come during the summer because you'll get the most daylight, but I also think coming during the winter is quite as an emotional experience because you'll get to experience what it really was like for the prisoners as they survived the brutal Polish winter. Once you get back to Krakow, of, I highly recommend walking through Old Town and walking by the river. This only takes a couple of hours because the Old Town is not that big. You can see the cathedral, Market Square. If you come here during the winter, this is where the Christmas market is held. And there's this uh, line of shops where you can buy souvenirs as well. From the main square, you can walk towards the river, towards Vavil Castle, where you can explore the castle and also see Vavil Dragon, which is one of the most popular spots here. And make sure to stay for when it breathes fire, which it does every five minutes. For dinner, I highly recommend you guys go to Hall of Forum, which is a outdoor seating area, but they also have an indoor food court, bars, and at night it also turns into a club. If there's any special like sports events, like a football game or something going on, they'll usually play it on the big screen so you can enjoy it with other people. Everything that's happening in Krakow is usually around the river, so it's nice to just walk around and explore. On day two, I highly recommend going to a museum. You can go to the National Museum, which you can complete in around three to four hours. One of my favorite museums here is actually the Schindler's Museum. For lunch, I highly recommend, if you want Indian food, going to this restaurant called Vati. They have Indian and Nepalese food. If you want Georgian food, you can go to this place called Kacha Puri. If you want good Polish food, you can go to this one right here, Restoraha Smakoviki. They're a little bit on the higher end for Polish food. But if you want some like local cafeteria style Polish food, I recommend going to a bar Mleczny, which is a milk bar. There are a bunch of them all around the city and it's a bunch of like older Polish women cooking all these meals. You just pick which one you want and it's a little cheaper than an official restaurant. If you're looking for a kebab, the best one in the city is Shawarma Clubhouse around the old town. So after lunch, I would recommend going to Lake Sharshuik. This is a lot better during the summer because you can get into the water. However, during the winter, it's also nice to walk around because it's a beautiful scenery and just being able to sit down and enjoy the views, hang out, talk, maybe bring some wine, right, and enjoy. And at night, I highly recommend exploring the Kashmir's district, which is the Jewish quarter. There are a lot of bars and great restaurants here, so you guys can just walk around the area and see which one you like. I would also recommend going to this central area with a bunch of food stalls where they serve Zabie Kanke, which is the Polish version of pizza. It's pretty good and it's kind of like the version of street food. For the third day, I rec recommend that you guys go to Zakopane, which is a city on the border of Poland and Slovakia. You can spend a whole entire day here because they have a lake where you can visit and take beautiful pictures. You can also go to the top of the mountain where they have a bunch of look points and restaurants so you can enjoy lunch there. But you can also go into the city and walk around the city and it's a lot more of a traditional small Polish city kind of feel. You can choose to spend a night here or you can choose to come back to Krakow. Is there anything else that you guys would recommend? Let me know down below and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.